Nestled deep beneath the rolling hills that cradle scenic downtown Missoula, you might be surprised to learn that for a world-renowned meal, the hottest ticket in town isn't one of the restaurants on Main Street. Not even close. In fact, it's not a restaurant at all. At the start of any given week, enticing smells from Syria to Iraq, Congo to Pakistan, waft and rise from this tiny basement kitchen underneath this unassuming Methodist church. Last week, you could have caught a hint of curry simmering in Haroon Asani's chicken mirror, highlighted with a splash of dal. You're not nervous? No. There's going to be a lot of people in here, Haroon. <laughs> no, I am good. I am excited. Haroon, an Afghan evacuee from Parwan, is beaming between making more than 100 meals for Missoula's United We Eat, a once-a-week meal service that pays refugee and immigrant chefs to cook an array of takeout meals for the community. And the community is obsessed. Everything I've tried so far has been great. You know, we try to order almost every week. Oh, wow. Yeah. For most of Missoula, I think that this is probably their best opportunity to get exposure to diverse food. And that's the deal. The chefs get to share their food, express their culture, and provide for their families. While every week, Missoula gets another taste of the world. And it's a big hit. It's good. So far, nearly $50,000 has been paid to more than two dozen chefs who've cooked nearly 6,000 meals for the community. The program is so popular now that when the digital menu goes live to more than 2,000 participants at the end of every week, meals typically sell out in less than 30 minutes. We set reminders on our phones for Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Are you surprised by the amount of demand that it's generated? Not at all. This town is um, hungry for what we offer. <laughs> Program manager Beth Baker says the initiative is a cornerstone of Soft Landing Missoula, an assistance organization for refugees and immigrants that started back in 2015 during the war in Syria, when Montana was one of two states that wasn't accepting refugees. I think it offers an enormous amount of dignity. Um, these folks often come from cultures where sharing food and hospitality and generosity are significant parts of their culture. And to be able to offer that to the Missoula community is a really important thing for them. It was really important for 23-year-old Roseanne Shabit. They make us like to feel we are welcome here and they like refugee and immigrant to share food. Roseanne fled the war in Syria with her family and spent more than seven years in Cairo after escaping Damascus, waiting to be resettled as a refugee. After cooking with her mom for the program, she was hired on as a full-time assistant kitchen manager because she loves to teach. I have a lot, a lot of questions about, okay, like what's the ingredients, why you put this and why you make this with this and how you know that. And I love, I love when they ask me like this question because I want everyone to know like, okay, more experience they will get, like they will take from us more experience. On this particular week, we caught Roseanne keeping her room focused. This one is good. Spinach should be along that wall. In the While kitchen manager year, Casey Chapman scrambles to make sure they have everything they need for an Afghan feast. Hopefully. That'll work great. Not the easiest thing to do in the middle of the Mountain West. About half of my job is just grocery shopping and tracking down specific ingredients for our chefs. We want it to be as authentic as possible, even in Missoula, Montana. And authenticity and service, to culture and ownership that's allowed young men and women like Haroon to Thank thrive. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is very good. I'm thinking about the future. Maybe I will make a restaurant or uh, cook uh, Afghani foods. This is good for me for future and everything. Enjoy. Finding the freedom of peace through a prism of love, the barrier-breaking universal language of good food. And so the program, United We Eat, they say right now they are in what they call the dreaming phase. They love what they're doing right now, of course, but they would love to be able to create their own space so chefs can be in there seven days a week, you know, creating, trading ideas. Right now they rent that kitchen out only two days a week, so they'd love to expand in a few years, but they still are making people so happy and cultivating those dreams. Haroon, in that piece, by the way, he's been in the States like less than two years, didn't even know.
Montana existed before he came over, but he loves the community now. And the, the creation there has inspired him to sort of start his own dream. He would love to create his own restaurant in town, fill it with Afghan food and serve the community. Everybody is dreaming right now, of course, but that's something that is only sparked by the creativity and the community there at United Weed. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.